application sector, you take agriculture or forestry or e-governance or water resources or tourism or urban or rural development. Like that, if you name any uh, application, you will find something in Bhuvan and which can be used uh, uh, by the department or uh, in that particular sector for the betterment of the common man. So that way, we have a lot of uh, application uh, running on uh, Bhuvan. And here, the our ultimate aim is how these uh, applications are developed. The applications are developed in uh, two way. One is the applications are developed uh, in uh, NRSC. So we have developed and we have provided. And the second thing is this uh, framework is shared by the people so that they can uh, come into uh, Bhuvan framework and they can start develop the application. So that is the way it has been uh, made. So if you see some of the application which will be running on Bhuvan server, some application will be running on the other server. So what we would have done it, we would have created our framework and given to them. So that the local customization or lo uh, local modification, whatever they want to do it, they can do it on this uh, framework and they can host it from their side. So that is the way of uh, doing the thing what we are uh, currently following. And apart from this special application, sorry, uh, normal application, we do have some other application like the smart tracking, which will give you the vehicle tracking. Like uh, basically it is a mobile tracking. You can track your uh, mobile phones. So you can put it in a person or you can put it in a vehicle so that you can track all these things. And then whenever the, some sports are happening in India, that also will be captured and it will be put up in Bhuvan. So it is not only a, a scientific uh, related information, whatever is there. It is also having some common or general information that can also be seen in uh, uh, Bhuvan. Then uh, another important thing is we have the um, uh, state specific portal. So whatever the uh, uh, state you are interested, you can go to that state and you can see that what are all the related information is available in that particular uh, state. So that you need not uh, search in the uh, big repository. You can uh, confine your search to a particular state and you can get all this information. So that is also possible uh, uh, from Bhuvan. And then we do have a lot of uh, crowdsourcing. So crowdsourcing generally we will do it through Android uh, uh, phones or the smartphones what we are uh, uh, having. So basically the uh, app can be downloaded in your uh, mobile phone and you can start uh, source the uh, information. So since the name crowdsource, so anyone can be a, a source and they can uh, start uh, push the data to Bhuvan server. Then it will be moderated, then it will be available uh, for the public for utilization. So that is the way the crowdsourcing we are uh, uh, enabling through the Android applications or Android ports what we are uh, having so that uh, you can uh, do it. So like this, it is having uh, the visualization and the free download, then the maps and OGC services, then the application sector. So whatever the application sector you are looking for, then the crowdsourcing. So like that, it is having various uh, components. So now, uh, before uh, proceed further, how many of you have seen this um, uh, Bhuvan before this uh, session? Could you uh, tell me? One, two, two people. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So maybe whoever has seen uh, Bhuvan, what you could uh, understand, what, what exactly this uh, Bhuvan means and what it is offering. So maybe uh, could you uh, tell one or two points from your side? Who has seen, uh, who has seen this Bhuvan, could you uh, share? So I will tell then uh, what I will do, I will take the, uh, some of the examples or some of the application whatever has been developed uh, for a uh, specific uh, cause like the election commission. So when they have approached what we have done it. And then the uh, housing uh, corporation, when they want to uh, develop the application on Bhuvan, how we have enabled them to develop the application. Like that, I will give you some kind of scenarios. Then we'll go to the uh, further developmental aspect. So could you uh, tell me one or two uh, features, what you could uh, uh, see uh, from this Bhuvan? Maybe somebody who has raised the hand from the last uh, bench. Our last disk. Okay, no problem. Uh, you no need to tell. But at least uh, for last uh, ten minutes, I was just uh, telling about Bhuvan. What are all the features of Bhuvan? So now, any one of you, could you uh, uh, summarize what I have told about Bhuvan? See, I I, I need some instruction. Then only, I mean, uh, it is good to proceed for that. Otherwise, uh, it won't look good. Any 
Any volunteers? But Mr. Uh, Rajinder, you may need to coordinate. No, let us uh, have it from the uh, people. I would like to hear from students. No, you can you can you can sit down and you can speak. Okay, then. Okay. Yeah, nice. Any any other view? Huh? For? Okay, fine. Okay, nice. Any other point? Okay, so now I would like to uh, uh, have some more interaction. So, what is the composition of this uh, room? All our uh, computer science people or uh, some of the civil engineers are also there or uh, some mechanical or IT or uh, ECE or triple E and what is the composition? E C some are from E C C A C and I D very good. Okay. Now with that uh, background, I'll try to take you to the uh, other uh, session. So here, if you see that this is the thing what I was uh, mentioning. Like any other portal, you can see uh, here all the road information, and when you are going to any particular place, you will get more details. Suppose for example, I will try to uh, go to Hyderabad of Telangana, you can see that. When you are increasing your uh, zoom level, you will try to get more and more uh, detail up to the lane or up to the places of uh, uh, interest like a petrol pump or ATM or bank. So, like that you will get the uh, details. So, this is the common thing whatever you are seeing in, in other portals like uh, Google or uh, Yahoo or uh, uh, Rediff. So, wherever you go you will get the similar kind of information, but whatever you people have summarized that those are all the things which is uh, different from uh, other portal. So, in uh, Google may not provide the groundwater where it is uh, available or what is the wasteland it is available, what is the potential fishing. Zone information that that will not be provided by any other port, but here in, in Bhuvan you can get it. So, it is a Ultimately, it can be used to buy the uh,
you can see this one so this is the kind of map we will get it it depends on your internet speed so how you are um, accessing and what is the bandwidth you are getting so now you can see that it's so all this uh, road and the important place names and uh, it is also overlaid with the satellite data and you can see that so when you would like to see only the map you can uh, you can switch over to map and you will get the map like this but if you want to see it with the satellite data you can uh, uh, go to the satellite and you can see so this is the data what i was mentioning this is the one meter data what you could get it and uh, you can see uh, uh, in uh, google but otherwise the 2.5 meter data is available for entire country what is that uh, 2.5 meter which is coming from the cartosat one data and which can be uh, seen in the uh, google i'll try to show you the uh, different resolution data set but otherwise whatever you are seeing here this is the uh, one meter data and uh, uh, you can uh, visualize it so now by having all, all these things as i mentioned that google is providing a, a platform for creating the data to visualize the data and to share the data so by having all this uh, facility when the users are interested to develop the application what we will do is we will give a framework to them so that they can start develop the application so right now the framework what we are trying to do is we are enabling all our services as a web map services that is nothing but that the open geospatial consortium has defined various standards so that uh, the ogc as per the ogc we are enabling all our services as a web map service so you are very familiar with the web services concept so what exactly the uh, web services uh, what do you mean by web services anyone could you define what exactly web service means anyone of you different technologies you are a faculty or student okay i would like to hear from students okay so as one of your faculty has mentioned that it is a communication between the technology so maybe i will do, uh, i will define in different way so it is basically a interoperable communication between the systems over the network so basically it is providing the interoperable communication so what exactly a, a, a it means whatever the services or whatever the data you are having when you are enabling them it should not bind it to any proprietary format or it should not bind it to any interoperable uh, sorry uh, it should not bind it to any uh, vendor specific format it should be interoperable in nature so what is the meaning of interoperable so there should not be any as that information and it should be double so that's why what xml has come in it is in as per level and it is well formatted and it is easy to uh, understand all the things so when you are exposing on all you are as a ogis the xml will come picture and it is enabling the user to read and access and to do the further web services we 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 mention in a simple triangle for triangle is nothing but one service request that will be there one service provider will be there and one service catalog will be there and then the communication will happen between the and all these are happening through the xml it is mentioned as a comparable communication uh, network so that is enabled by the uh, xml so that is our idea so here in, in uh, buan uh, when you are are the um, as a xml but when you want to expose this satellite data or when you want to expose this map data as a service you for simple 
XML will not come into the, uh, I mean, it will not help you. So that's why what happened? XML itself is a markup language. So on, because of it is because of it is accessible nature, the XML can be further modified to support this. Uh, show the video or when you want to show uh, share the music. It will be hard when you want to have to customize it, you can have your own XML. So because XML is pro providing a capability to define your own tag. Suppose if I want to define myself, I can put my tag as name and then age, then qualification, where I am working. Like that I won't set up tags. So that's why you could define whatever ML is coming into the picture. That is called as a GML. So GML is a geographic So that GML is your XML. So the GML will have definition. When you are talking about the XML, there is something called XSD. XML thing about the GML, one is the feature that XSD, three things. Maybe, uh, anyway, you, you uh, note down that one. So, the feature that uh, Excel feature will do is, it, whether it is a bus stand, that much it will be given by the uh, feature uh, dot XSD. But what exactly the geometry dot XSD? Because we are all mathematicians. Are, I mean, we would have studied the mathematics in our engineering and in your school place, all, all these things. So, we know that what is geometry. The geometry here, what I meant is it will be a point or it will be a a line or it will give you a polygon. So the feature sorry the geometry dot XSD will define our polygon on a particular thing. So latitude and longitude or X and Y coordinate will be there. You know, what is the X and the Y location you will the line, it will be a series of when it is a polygon have a ending point. You are having the feature dot access geometry is defined, are defined. But when you want definition, you should have it. Have a uh, spatial data to be in the public domain or in the shape mode, you need a GML. So that, that's why GML is the extension of your XML, but basically sharing your data in the left client server. You have feature that access to you. The geometry that access to you have excellent battery. All, all these things internet and when they use this data. So this is this now. Okay. We are talking about 
know about the XM, who has defined the XM or who uh, telling their XML solution for another uh, consortium that is called a white web consortium. Okay, when you want, because it is a woman readable and when, or when we are sharing the geospatial data of standards. Right? Latitude and longitude, if it is a point. If it is a line string, line string will be there. If it is a polygon, polygon will be there. So we will take, take as a uh, simple example that is a point. So it will have latitude and longitude. So you will put your point. You want to write along with the point, this is the bus stand. So you can give some label feature for that bus stand. But along with that bus stand, you want to define that these many buses will cross this bus stand. This is connecting from Hyderabad to Nizam Bay. Uh, or Nizamabad it is connecting and uh, you, you, these are all the buses running between these two places and this uh, 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 bus stop is also having the reservation complex or reservation facility like that you want to attach all the attributes when you want to attach all the attributes it will be like the C data that the description will be defining all those uh, tags so when you are clicking that point it will give all these things so why this KML has come into the picture when you want to share your two dimensional data or three dimensional data in an interoperable way, you should have the kind of markup language. So that is a, now earlier the KML itself is a uh, Google's uh, proprietary thing, but now OGC has taken that KML and now it is called as a OGC KML because it is in a open uh, standard and it is following. So that is the way uh, the OGC is defining a standard for storing the data and sharing the data and when you want to run some process on top of it, that uh, process is also defined by the uh, OGC. So that is the way it is having all these facilities. Now, as I told that, all the one data Sets are OGC compliant. The so open geospatial compliant services. Okay. Now, since it is OGC compliant services, you no need to have any special software to read this data. You don't need to have, have any property software. Simple web browser. Now I am having a simple web browser. You can simply. Access could get up all these things. Now, the user is coming, the user is 